years ago. Actually, it happened about the time of the Great War. Now, you younger people don't call it the Great War. You call it World War I because you had World War II came along afterwards. So this was World War I, and when the United States decided that they were going to join and fight as allies against the Germans, they called up the young men. And young men came from all over the country to enlist and go fight over there. And one such group of young men, who may have been away from home for the very first time in their life, were the 102nd Infantry. And they gathered at Yale University on the athletic field. And that's where they were training. Now, I don't really know a lot about what soldiers train, except for what I've seen in the movies. But I imagine it's pretty stressful. And being away from home couldn't have been easy. So when a little pup came on the field and started mingling around the men, they were delighted for his company. You know, when I looked at the picture of him on the internet, and you can have your parents look him up on the internet, or you can admit you can do it too. He kind of looks like a mix between a Boston Terrier and a pit bull. Kind of a mongrel, right? <laughs> well, kind of because its legs are kind of short, the soldiers in training called him Stubby. And they enjoyed his company tremendously. In fact, he was such a clever little fellow that he learned to take his paw and raise it up to his eyebrow in a little salute. Can you imagine? That is cute. Well, after they had trained for quite a while, it was time for them to ship out on a, a, a transport ship. Well, the guys really didn't want to leave Stubby home behind. They had become so close to him. And Stubby really wasn't allowed to go on that ship. They smuggled him aboard, and one of the boys put him inside his coat and got him in there, and they kept him downstairs where all the monks were, secretly, until one day a commanding officer came by and spotted him. Was he upset? He says, no dogs. You cannot have dogs. This is a troop transport ship. No dogs. <laughs> Do you know what happened? Little Stubby went over there, looked up at the guy and flipped his club. He saluted him. <laughs> Who could resist that? So the commanding officer says, well, okay, we'll make him a uh, mascot so he can stay on the ship, okay? And then he wasn't made to stay down there in hiding. He was allowed to run all over the ship. And while the men were crossing from United States over to France, he was running around. And it was great for morale. All the guys loved him. They just really loved him, everything. So he became quite a little soldier, you know, with his little saluting, and he was obeying. Every time they told him to do something, he obeyed. So time came when they went into battle. And Stubby went with them. He obeyed. He stayed where they were. Now, in that war, they had what they called trench warfare, where they would dig a long ditch, and the men would stick their head and rifle up and they'd shoot across to the other people who were also in a trench. Well, sometimes the enemy would throw gas over to the other side. Now, Stubby was there one time when gas was in, thrown into the, the, tr the trenches. Well, he recovered from it. But you know, that happening to him made him very sensitive to the smell. 
So, one time, gas was coming, the men were asleep in the trenches, and he ran up and down the trenches barking and waking them up so they could put their gas masks on. In fact, I saw one picture where they had a gas mount from Stubby. <laughs> Not only that, but you know, he came in handy in another way. Between the two trenches, there was barbed wire, and sometimes the men would jump up and try to fight their way over and take the other men. And they called this no man's land, because it was probably a bad place to be. But you know, Stubby was so short that he could climb underneath the barbed wire and he could take water to the injured soldiers, or he could lead the medics to these soldiers. Pretty great. The people, he would, took notice. I mean, the leaders even took notice. And one time, this German soldier made it across into the Allied trenches, and Stubby spotted it right off the bat and started barking. And he made him stay right there until the guys came and arrested him. Now for that, the commanding officer decided that Stubby needed to be promoted. So he became the first ever dog to receive a position as sergeant. So he became Sergeant Stubby from then on. I said, that he served in 17 battles in 18 months, and he'd been injured twice, and he'd received multiple medals, including Purple Heart, just like men did. And you know, when he came back, the American people just fell in love with Stubby. Stubby, he would, he, be in parades. He met three American prisoners of uh, presidents. <laughs> Not bad for a month, right? He was a national hero. But you know, there's there's Bible stories about strays too that end up rich. If you remember Joseph with the many colored coat, he became rich and he became second only to the Pharaoh in Egypt. And then we had David. He was a shepherd boy. And he became the king of Israel. And then you can remember Daniel because he was hauled off to Babylon as a prisoner. And he became a prime minister. And then, of course, there's Esther who became queen. So God can do amazing things. And you know, it makes me think back to the time when Jesus was here on earth. You know, when Jesus was rounding up his disciples, he didn't go down to the Jerusalem synagogue or seminary and pick up 12 men. No, he went to the seashore. He went to the, the, shepherd, the shepherds out of the fields. Uh, he even picked up some that were listening to John of the Baptist on the, 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 the uh, banks of the Jordan River. He even got a tax collector. But he took those 12 men and he made them really something. And those 12 men turned the world upside down because they became such spiritual leaders. And we are a result of that today. And just remember what Jesus did for those strays he can do for you too. Okay? Let's have a word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for your love. And we thank you, Lord, that you can take make anybody a better person through you. Lord, we ask that you bless these children, that they may grow, and grow in spiritual matters also, and learn to follow your lead. In 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.